how to come back enlightened everybody is thinking enlightenment is something only the maharishis and the great swamis great gurus can have that one it is not anybody's father's property <laughs> once i i said in my tweet that rss is not your father's property <laughs> then one lady wrote back to me telling me how good acharya ji is talk like this i am shocked <laughs> come back and light and there was one senior ias officer retired ias officer vijay gore which is a very good friend of our school and to me he used to regularly visit our school and one day i told him why don't you take a class for my students who are preparing for the upsc exams ias ks etc he took the class the opening line itself was so beautiful and enlightened enlightenment <laughs> he is an experienced enlightened uh, master vijay gore he asked my students Nine, when was the first war of independence it was 14 1857 suppose it didn't happen in 1857 what could have happened and all the students gave different different answers he said if it has not happened in 1857 it could have happened in 1858 because the amount of preparation homework which has gone through is so enormous so powerful <laughs> it will hap- easily happen in 1858 why should you think that you prepared so much and you failed and you start crying or going to commit suicide it is stupidity it will happen the very next year because your preparation is so much the next year makes it look very easy <laughs> it is the truth so much truth is involved in that one letter of preparation first of all there is no failure first of all there should not be a failure because when you think you have the power of a thousand men warrior when you can roar like a thousand men warrior when you read a thousand times and where there is failure these failures are created by the western slave masters to slave us they used a term try 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 again at last to succeed and nobody succeeded in the try 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 first of all once you get the taste of the first blood of your failure failure follows because your mind is full of pessimist so let us not think there is a thing called failure how could there there be a thing called failure your body was not a failure failure comes from the dictionary language of you not enjoying your body thoroughly you got suppressed through the medium of the slave masters and you went into depressed depression come out of that then enlightenment is thy name this is a 64th story from the zen flesh zen bones written by paul reps cassin sweated cassin was asked to officiate at the funeral of a provincial lord Cassin sweated. Sweat is very, very important. In our Kannada language, we say it is bevro. Everybody should sweat morning, afternoon, evening, night, like the naturopathy doctors, naturopathy practitioners tell us. If you have taken your breakfast, you must visit the restroom. after lunch yes anything you eat you must visit the restroom you must cleanse the ba- old ones out it pushes you out but in most of the villages in the parents teach the children the moment you eat food don't visit the restroom and that becomes constipation and from there the diseases started you should sweat morning afternoon evening if possible in the night also yes sweat is very important 
If you don't sweat in Canada, we call for sweat bevru. Bevru bandilandra. Janagal nene bevru si nilgar. Bevru si means it's a dirty language. I do not want to go into the dictionary. Real language bevru si, but almost everywhere in Karnataka, people call when they get angry bevru si. And I look deep inside. And I found they were calling people, beverages only people who are stupid. Stupid means those who don't sweat it. If they sweat it, they will have a smile in the face. If they sweat it, they will share it. When they share it, who will call you beverages even stupid? <laughs> that is what Kassin sweated. Kassin was asked to officiate at the funeral of a provincial lord. He had never met lords and no blood before. So he was nervous. When the ceremony started, Kazan sweated. Afterwards, when he returned, he gathered his pupils together. Kazan confessed that he was not yet qualified to be a teacher for he lacked the sameness of bearing in the world of fame that he possessed in the secluded temple. Then Kazan resigned and became the pupil of another master. Eight years later, he returned to his former pupils and glided. Yes, here the master goes to officiate a ceremony where he was kept secluded in the temple for years. Like how you are secluded inside the homes, secluded in your jails called the schools. They call it pre-primary school, primary school, high school, PUC, degree college. So many jails you go through. Jails, perfect jails. Hence, there is poverty. Can you believe millions of kids are in the jails in the name of education? Government policy needs changes. If those children can be diverted to the usage of the circumstances of that particular area, that area is the richest. They were never been used. They were for, forced to follow the invaders' language of pushing the children into the jails. When children are in the jails, the families are taught to go to another jail called the government offices, companies, factories, another jail, two jails. And the rulers were very easy. To control them. The family will sit together, each together, praise to grow. When the families are together, nobody can touch them from growing. Suppress them. Trim their roots. Let them not go back to the roots of the family. Hence, you say secluded in the temple. But you can always come out of that seclusion. Yes. You be in the crowd. Move with the crowd. But be an individual in the crowd, otherwise you will be trampled to death. If you don't move in the crowd, they will trample you to death. So I'm asking you to move with the crowd, but be an individual. How do you become an individual? How do you come back enlightened? Simple thing. You don't have to go to any, again to another one jail to study. Come out of the jail, look into you, what the Ramana Maharshi said. Ask who am I? Jesus Christ said, knock and the door shall be And Krishna said, roar like a thousand man warrior. Look into you and roar. And when you roar like a thousand man warrior, all your carbon dioxide goes out and fresh oxygen goes inside and every cell in, in, in your body starts waking up. And when it gets in every cell of your brain, you first you realize the power of your sweetness. It is an ocean of power. It is an ocean of excess in your body where you only feel to share because when you have understood the taste, you will only share. When you have not understood the taste of the money, you put it in the fixed deposits in the bank, buy more more buildings and loot day in and day out. And that loot helps you to get you a degree called cancer, diabetes. And then from there, it continues your family to destroy you, not to love you, but to hate you. The society hates you. Understand that. It's so beautiful. And for you to know 
what is enlightenment to come out of the jail go to the jail because now if because i tell you don't go to the schools and colleges then you will be in trouble and i will be in trouble what you must do is go to the university but be conscious go to the school become go to come and be conscious try to look left and right how it has been built be conscious sweat it out not morning not evening sweat buckets and buckets of sweat and drink that much of water not the food not the soft drinks it cleanses your body to look deeper into their truth and you have learned a beautiful language because the language in the schools and colleges and the companies are especially beautiful but they do not allow you to explore to practically understand hence there was a trouble i am asking you to cope come back home and put that into practice if you have been in the office for 8 hours in the school for 5 hours come back to your house and put 5 hours a day you are enlightened because you will embrace the trees and you get we call it the tree therapy the hugging of the trees you get resistance power you hug and embrace the wind and you find there is no disease except growth and happiness in the taste you embrace the sunlight whatever little sunlight you can get because you are not allowed to even see the sun and sunlight you are pushed inside the jail in a dark place dark holes but whatever little you can when rain comes play in the rain yes dig the mud and then you put a seed and see it growing talk to the animals and the pets talk to your wife and the children to your husband and children first time you find you don't have to have any intelligence the body has got to allow it just transfers together you just jump and dance and cook together wash your clothes together laugh together eat together and you can see the gates of heaven is open towards the joint family and the family and there lies your enlightenment you are conscious you became enlightened